here for the show? Yes. <laughs> okay, so we want to perform a couple more tests on our soil just to get a better feel for the soil, the content of the soil. Literally get a feel for it. So I got a couple samples here. Pour off. Uh, this water. And mm. <laughs> this getting our one, hands dirty for this test. I think this one is from the crew pit. Uh, this is gonna be messy. Gonna make a mud pie. <laughs> I just forgotten about the test now. I think she's just trying, she's just playing around. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You have to wait till it dries. <laughs> Action. What are you doing over there besides playing games? I'm making mud pies. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Um, it probably would have been easier if we had gotten new samples and just added water. But now I'm trying to take the water out. <laughs> um, but I'm kind of uh, liking what I'm doing because it gives me a chance to kind of play with the mud a little bit. <laughs> that's that's what it's all about, right? But I can I can kind of feel the texture more this way. So this one I'm kind of I'm drying them out on these scrap pieces of wood. Um, I think this one's about ready for our next test. So. roll it out and make a little sausage. So what does that tell you? What are you seeing? Probably is a good clay content. So like when you were holding it out over your hand like that, what were you looking for? Supposedly, if you dangle it off your hand and it, if it breaks apart easily, then it's going to be a lot of sand in there, um, not high clay. If it holds together well, um, then there's a lot of clay. So that one didn't break apart at all. Um, should I do the drop test? Yeah, let's do the drop test. So if you make a ball, I guess if you drop it from like waist height, if it flattens into a pancake, then it's high in clay. Um, if it just shatters, crumbles, then there's a lot of sand in there. So let's see. Wow. 
Wow. That is high clay, according to the test. Yeah, wow. I think this one's about ready. This one feels... Obviously the color is darker than the other one. I feel it might feel a little more gritty. Feels grittier, huh? So if I were to guess, might have more sand. But one uh, aspect of doing this though is you you literally get a feel for it, huh? Yeah. Which is good when you're, you know, going to be actually working with it. You're going to be touching it and <laughs> smearing it around. Um, so it probably gives you a better idea of how that's that part is going to go yeah. when you're working with it with your hands. So here's our little sausage -y. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but <laughs> that seems pretty stable. It's kind of breaking apart. But not bad though. Not bad. Are we doing the ball test? Yeah, I'll try. I don't know. That's a good sign. Looks good too. Interesting. This one was from the northeast corner of the property. It's crazy the different colors just from these few soil samples. I don't know, I think you're having too much fun with this. Make a bowl. You ready to throw that on the potter's wheel? Those were some of the methods we used to test our soil, gave us a better idea of how it would work in our shed build, and gave us something to keep in mind uh, in the future for other applications, other things we're building. We did do a jar test. Uh, it gave us some kind of confusing results. We were a little suspicious of that. We wanted to do this to kind of compare. And really it might be a good idea to do multiple tests uh, to get a better feel for your soil. And this really helped me actually, you know, be able to feel the texture of the soil. So based on the results of these tests, 
we found that our soil has a pretty high clay content so you know that gives us a good reference point something to keep in mind while we're working out here so stay tuned you can see the different things that we're going to be doing with the soil and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share please subscribe so you can uh, check out what we're doing and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for watching, everyone.